Hey everyone, Marix here, bringing you another video. And this one is going to be on my superstar, Sika. He's max 5-star bronze. I got his fuse up, so he's uh, got 4 full stars, only 1 hollow now. He's ready to go 5-star silver. And I'm going to show two ways of running him. One without JBL, and one with JBL. Uh, so the first one, uh, the strap's going to be the same in both of them. Let's take a look at the strap. Uh, I have the blue bomber plate on him, 50% chance to create two random blast gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. Really like this plate on him. I think it's the best spot for a blue bomber currently is on Sika. Uh, if you don't have a blue bomber, two words would also be extremely good on him. Um, but I think as far as the, from the blue bomber perspective, Sika is the best spot I can think of currently to put the blue bomber on. Um, still have a little bit of work to do on this metal. It's tier, it's level 12. Um, ideally, this would be a percentage green move metal. I didn't have one to use without taking it off of someone else. So I'm going with a flat one. Um, level 15 would be better as well. Uh, Double Fury is kind of the key here. Trying to pick up as many gem damage substats as I can. Um, just because he blows up the board, right? So... Red, black, green, doesn't really matter. Just buff the gems as much as I can. That's why this one is on here, because it's got um, some green gem uh, damage and a health increase. Kind of a nice little boost there. Uh, and finally, um, this one has blue gem damage on it. And I'm not, The metals on him aren't really amazing at this point, uh, but it, it gets the job done. Um, so you can also see... Our uh, gem damage ranges from 82.5% uh, up to 86.5%. So pretty good gem damage on him. And since he's blowing up the board, that's kind of the way I feel like to build him. Uh, so like I said, two builds. One with JBL, one without. This first one is without. Uh, and we're going to run Kane. Uh, so his he creates one extra blast gem. And, which is nice, I believe at, let's see what level it is for you guys, I want to say 9k? It might be higher though. Yeah, 9k, he makes one extra blast gem, he also does other stuff, uh, but for the purposes of this, he's on there for the one extra blast gem. You could also use steel if you wanted to, you could put on like a slick rick for gem damage, uh, there's different ways you could go. Uh, you could maybe even put on a green move damage trainer. But I like the one more extra blast gem. Between that and the blue bomber, most of the time, uh, I seem to not really miss out when I don't have um, JBL that much. So uh, let's get in here and run it this way. And I'll run at least one this way, maybe two. Uh, and then we'll switch to JBL. Uh, but you'll see generally with the blue bomber having a 50% chance to go off, uh, it does... It does create a decent amount. Um, and you can see the moves I'm using. We got the Samoan Headbutt, the Eye Rake, and the Elbow Drop. The flat gem damage is nice on those. A lot of times we won't even get to turn two, but let's see how we go with these six random blasts. Let's see if we get any um, from the Blue Bomber. Yep, we got two extra from the Blue Bomber there. Let's see, so we have, we have eight blast gems, and my cats are freaking out. Uh, we got two more on that one, so we got the blue bomber twice now. So four extra blast gems there. And really, you just want to make a match. This isn't the best spread, uh, so we're going to match it here, and it's going to blow up three-fourths of the board. A lot of loot box gems, um, but we did fully recharge, and we got a 220k hit. Um, that's not bad for how many loot box gems were on there, really. Piper's going to kick out, so we're going to get a second turn. And you can see Blue Bomber went off again. And now we get to use... It's not a finisher, but I kind of call it the finisher in this build. Blue Bomber going off for us again. And now we're going to make a bunch of reds. Nine blasts into red. 
So hopefully we get some decent board destruction there. Actually, you did pretty bad, but still hit very hard, 368k. And we went against a showboat too, a five-star bronze strap showboat, and took almost all of his life off. Uh, so let's run it again. This time we'll go against someone else for variety. My cats are going berserk right now. They said, oh, Merix is doing a video? Time to play. Alright, let's go against AJ. Again, 5-star Browns AJ. He's got higher talent. Uh, and we'll run it again. Then I will switch to JBL and we'll run a couple, or a couple with JBL on. Sika's a lot of fun. I am definitely looking forward to getting him 5-star silver. And uh, I could see potentially making him 5-star gold one day. Not my first 5-star gold. Uh, but down the road, uh, I like it because I don't use MP trainers on him. And that's really nice. No blue bomber that time. Or that time. Hopefully we get it here. Nope, we did not. Not the best spread ever, but also not the worst. I'm trying to decide which one to break. Well, you want to make sure that you at least get uh, one black and some green if you can. So we're going to take this one here. That way we fill all the moves. So it's going to be a small turn one, comparatively. Generally, I do a lot bigger turn ones than that. Without JBL. So I was using him this way before I got JBL. So I've used him this way a bunch. Um, but you can see we still did a bunch of damage to AJ. And we should get a very nice turn two here. We're just taking big chunks. Of the, the move damage adds up, too. We're taking big chunks of life just hitting the moves. Uh, and now we're going to blow the board up. There's no way he's not going to. Yeah, whole board's gone. Uh, 366k just in gem damage on top of the uh, 90k move damage. So there you go. That's without JBL. So you can see, even if you don't have JBL, don't be afraid of working on your Sika. Uh, he's really good. I do think Blue Bomber is clutch. Uh, if you don't have Blue Bomber, two words is fine. And also, uh, if you don't have JBL, think about taking um, Powerhouse Kane to 9k for that extra blast gem. It does help. So let's switch to JBL now. Uh, obviously, JBL does make him even better. Because now we're making eight random blast gems. And he um, also buffs the damage that red gems do and blast gems do. 100% on blast gems and 25% on red gems. So he is a fantastic trainer on Sika. And I'll run one against AJ and um, one against Piper. And then we'll see where we're at. Maybe I'll do one against a 5-star silver just for fun. A little bit harder challenge for Sika. Because this, you'll see, gets pretty out of hand really quick, in, in a good way. Especially if Blue Bomber goes off a couple times, the whole board starts looking like a blast gem. Yeah, that's really nice. You can see we basically blew the whole board there, and we did 400k on that swipe. Almost wiped out all of his life, actually, on turn one. He did manage to kick out, um, then turn two just gets quite ridiculous.
It's a lot of fun. I'm currently enjoying playing him a lot. He's one of my favorite cards to play. And that flat green uh, move damage metal adds up in a hurry. And uh, percentage would be even better uh, as he goes up higher and between the two moves. So this should, this should do a lot of damage here. Most of the board again. Uh, yeah, 600k gem damage. Right there. So, in fact, uh, let's just skip uh, Piper and we'll go right to a 5-star silver. I actually haven't played him a ton a ton with JBL as far as with the... Um, with the medals finished. So I was playing him JBL without finishing the medals. I just kind of finished up his medals before doing this video. So let's find a five star silver for this last match. We'll go against a uh, zombie taker on the SummerSlam road where I've been doing a lot of my previews on. He should be on round one, I think. Here. Yeah, we'll take Zombie Taker on. Hopefully he doesn't dodge any of the gem placements. If he does, I'll just run another one. So 5-star Bronze versus 5-star Silver here. Uh, I do have tour perks too, by the way. Plus 2 uh, MP, plus 1 on a match. There are also other ways you can run Sika, but I really feel like at this point... Um, this is the best way to run him. I also failed to mention the strap is I chose the 20% gem damage strap for him, not the skip strap. So that's the strap that's on him as well, so an extra 20% bonus to his gem damage there. And this looks like it's going to be fairly decent um, board blow up. I'm gonna take the green and that should get most of or the purple and that should get most everything. Yep, most of the board there. Nice little cascade, tiny cascade to go with it, but 420k on turn one with just a swipe there. So Taker's gonna kick out, which is good. He's gonna have a million health left. And we'll get to see what Sika can do um, on turn two. With someone that's got a million health left. Because we were going through those five-star bronzes quite easily. And so far, this is looking like a pretty spicy board. So, should be nice. Getting the blue bomber to go off. Hopefully, we get fill in some of these dead spots here. Not quite as well as I'd like. But let's see what we do. miss that side. Oh, are we going to get it to fall? There we go. Most of it. 560k. And it could have been better. But it's going to keep uh, Taker down, no problem. So there you guys go. Uh, I think... I really think... I'm, I'm trying to think if there's a better free-to-play card that we've ever had. I, I think Sika is the best... Um, free card they've ever given out to start the month. Assuming you have got his gear, um, that's 50%, I want to say, red gem damage, so it helps there. Um, and then also the 20% gem damage strap. And I do have his gear as well. Uh, double check that what I said is actually what it does. Um, yep, 50% more red gem damage. So I think he's probably the best card we've ever had uh, given out. Um, he's super, super fun. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did want to show that he is completely viable even without JBL and Rusev. If you just have Rusev or if you just have JBL, um, you can absolutely still run Sika. He's a monster. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys like this video. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, good luck out there, and thanks for watching.